Hello YouTubers, uh, friends and family. Um, my uh, topic today is going to be HHO dry cells. Um, basically what a dry cell is, is uh, you can see this book. I'm just going to give you a, a brief description. Um, basically what it is is a bunch of plates stacked together and um, they're separated by um, a plastic membrane or a rubber membrane that allows for water to sit in between the plates but space the plates out where um, the stainless steel doesn't actually touch. Um, I, I, I wanted to bring up this topic because there's lots of companies that are coming up all over the place um, that are saying, oh, save, save mileage and save fuel mileage, you know, they, they claim to do all these great things. Um, now, yes, technically um, they will clean uh, the fuel. Um, it raises the octane level, it is putting in um, a higher octane for the fuel and um, it, it will have a cleaner emissions. Um, now they're also using these, uh, these chips, uh, these performance chips that um, also right, uh, naturally reduce the amount of fuel consumption. Um, you can look them up on uh, eBay, you can, uh, you can get them without an HHO cell and it'll still, um, still improve on your fuel mileage. Now, um, now, my biggest issue is, um, first of all, quality. Um, a lot of these people are selling um, 304 stainless steel. Um, if if any go on, anyone that's going to get into this industry, they should not be selling 304. Uh, 304 easily uh, deposits um, uh, iron, um, which is naturally in the water. Um, you can look at anyone uh, on YouTube doing um, any type of cell and you'll always see a little bit of a orange or a red sludge on top of the water. Um, the only water that will not do this is uh, deionized water and it has to be clean deionized water. Um, you can go to a, a hardware store or a, an auto store and you can buy it for um, your, uh, your radiator and they have a, a bittering agent in it to um, prevent animals from licking up uh, antifreeze because you mix antifreeze and deionized water together. Um, so if you can find a good source in your area, uh, go for that. Now uh, my other issue is the chemicals that they're using. Um, they u first of all, I'll explain why they're using a chemical. Um, first of all, I, I feel it's the easy way out. They're not sitting there and trying to find a, a pulse width modulator, which I'll explain later in this video, um, which pretty much will, does not need to use um, harsh chemicals. Um, uh, sodium hydroxide is, um, uh, I believe they use it um, for farming, so they do naturally throw it on the ground. Um, no, sorry, that's potassium hydroxide and uh, they do that to sweeten up the soil, that's what farmers will say, they sweeten up the soil with it. Um, potassium hydroxide, I'm not too, sorry, sodium hydroxide, not too sure what they're, uh, they're using that for, but either way, um, it's still a chemical, you're still dirtying the water, and it's not efficient. Um, some of these systems are running so hot because of the amount of current slash amperage that they're drawing into the cell that they need to have a cooling unit on it. Well, if you have to cool something, that means you're losing energy. Um, when when you, you so, so pretty much you take these uh, these um, electrolytes is what people call them. You take the electrolyte and you put it in your water, and you can watch on your amp meter your um, your amperage increase. Now, um, some people are drawing from 30 to 50 amps, um, even more, on onto their alternator. Now what happens when you're um, putting that type of pull on the alternator, um, it actually um, consumes energy. It, it will slow down, um, not slow down, but it will uh, suck power from the alternator. First of all, it's bad for the alternator. The alternator is not meant to constantly run at um, you know a, a large amount of current draw. So eventually you're going to burn out your alternator and there goes 100 to 200 dollars down the drain. Um, secondly, um, to use that type of heat is just, it's, it's a waste. Um, you can use a pulse width modulator which um, basically um, uses a frequency, um, a, a pulse frequency that um, sort of, it's sort of like turning a switch on and off, on and off, on and off, but, um, but the faster you do it, the higher the frequency increases. So um, 
if you were to, uh, you know, buy a, you know, because I know that's really that's all that's on the market until I make something, until I have a few other friends make something that's on the market. Um, they will, um, th that's really all you can get right now. My stuff's coming out in the spring, but, um, so, and some people can't wait now that gas price just shot through the roof to a, a dollar uh, twenty a liter in Canada. Well, at least here in Ottawa and Toronto, it's probably higher. Montreal, it's up to a dollar thirty a liter. Um, and, uh, you know, I hear people saying uh, that are selling these kits saying that, uh, you know, estimated soon to hit four dollars a gallon. Um, I don't really know that comparison, but whatever. Um, so pretty much, well, first of all, when you're using plates, um, you lose an efficiency. Um, it's been proven that with tubes, which is Stanley Meyer's method, um, you actually increase 6% efficiency. So that means that just right off the bat from not using plates, you have a higher efficiency rating. Um, now, um, it, it, it just it drives me nuts, and I see people buying these kits all over the place, and... Um, you know, it, I guess people need to save. Yes, it, it, it's a proven fact. And if, you know, with the way how efficiencies are coming out and the fact that the the chip does actually save you fuel and some chips, uh, which there's only one that I know of, um, it's called the Volo chip. You can look it up on uh, Google, V-O-L-O. Um, and it say, it, it'll, they have many different types of chips, but they have one that's specified for HHO. And, uh, and I've talked to them personally, and they said that pretty much, well, if you have a high amount of HHO, it will still be able to read it. So if you're able to do HHO efficiently, um, which is um, Myers's way was said to have been um, 17 to 1900 percent more efficient than, um, than these, you know, dry cells that you can buy out on the market. I'm not going to name any names because, you know, I know by even doing this, I'm probably going to... Uh, cause a little bit of a ruckus, but um, I, I believe that people should be told the truth, and I believe that, um, that you know, people are making a cheap buck. They're not going out and trying to advance their kit. When my kit comes out, I'm going to always try to advance it. I'm always going to try to make it better, and that's, they're just sitting there raking in the cash. You know, you, you hear them getting huge contracts with trucking companies, and, uh, you know, I guess the trucking companies also don't care because if they slap a few of these cells on and they draw a whole bunch of amperage, who cares if they, you know, uh, throw away a, an alternator or two a year or, uh, you know, it, or even have to replace the HHO cell when they go through, you know, millions of dollars. Uh, some companies go through millions of dollars a day in fuel that have trucking companies. So, you know, in the long run, yes, they'll save money, but they're not doing it the efficient way. Um, there's a, a video in my favorites uh, that shows a picture of an amp meter, uh, sorry, a bolt meter, and he explains that with his circuit, um, he pretty with his pulse width modulator, it um, at about 2.5 uh, volts, the voltage just takes over, and he shows that he's only using 0.5 volts. Well, for that, like I, I've seen the amount of gas that's coming off of that. And he's probably getting about half a liter of minute, a minute off that. So let's say we want to get five liters a minute. So let's multiply that by five, sorry, by ten, um, because you know if he's only getting half. So he's say he uses ten tubes, and um, and then he also uses the pulse width modulator. So now let's take that 0.5 volts, uh, sorry, 0.5 amps that he's drawing. And let's multiply that by uh, 10. So he's going to use 5 amps. So for like for that type of efficiency, um, it's much, much better. Um, the, these guys are drawing between 30 and 50, and I've even heard as much as 80 amps, and all that does is wasting. Um, basically, what a hydrogen cell works as is, 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 um, is a capacitor. Um, water is a natural dielectric. So when you put current or voltage into the water, it charges that water up. Theirs does not make any use of it. Stanley Meyer's way and a pulse width modulator does make use of it. So, um, so I urge anybody um, to uh, look for guys like me that are selling uh, a kit that, um, 
that that shows what um, you know shows what type of power that's going in. Um, also, if any of these companies are only giving you like um, a liters per minute, um, and I'll explain that as well. Basically, you you take a, a water bottle, fill it up with water. Um, you take a one liter bottle, sorry, and you fill it up with water, and you take yourself a big pail, and you dump that bottle upside down in the in the bucket. And you take the lead coming off of your hydrogen generator, and you pump it up. Uh, sorry, you uh, you take the bubbles and put it into the into the into the bottle. The water will then push out, and the HHO gas will fill up. Um, that will tell you in that certain amount of time. So say you have, um, say every ten, say it took ten seconds to fill the bottle. Well, that will be six liters a minute. So um, so you know it, it, it's just. Uh, I'm I'm here to try and help. Um, I, I've I've been studying this stuff for five years now, and I, I constantly see the flaws in the in the the system, and I'm just gonna try to do whatever I can to help clean it up. Um, so if you you hear of anyone that that's selling an efficient kit, please make a comment about it. Please put it on here. I w I would love to see what they're doing. I'd love to contact them. Um, and uh, yeah. So uh, any questions? Feel free to ask. I mean, like I said, I'm here to help. Um, if you feel that there was anything that I didn't cover or that I miss, please put in the comment bar and I will make a second part to this video to uh, quickly cover that. Uh, remember, free energy is on its way. There are many people that are working with it. Um, the, the people working with Tesla's work, Meyer's work. Now, um, I also did want to cover free energy. Um, free energy doesn't necessarily mean over unity. Free energy means that it doesn't cost any money to make. So. Um, in my previous video, I explained how you can take water mist and pass it through a plasma field. Well, that's not free energy. It's not over unity. You're just using a different fuel. Um, so using HHO and doing it efficiently is just using it a, using a different fuel. You already have energy coming off of the alternator. There's already energy being pumped into the water that you can actually use uh, rather than turning it into heat. So again, any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, I love your comments. Everybody's been very positive. Take care, and uh, I'll uh, I'll probably be posting something again soon. This is uh, starting to get a bit addictive. Take care. Bye bye.